All right, what's going on everyone? This is Zen from Zen Multiverse here, and I hope you're having a great day. So we're back with another Zen Talks. This one comes in the form of new comic book day pickups that I didn't get last week, but they came this week. So they're older books in one week, and I uh, just wanted to share some of the hype with you all. So before we do that, time to hit that intro. You will never amount to anything. We shall see. Alright, so we're back. So what books did I get? Okay, so first, and some of you know that I love Hickman's Worth with, with uh, Powers of Ten and House of X. So we're kind of getting, getting a true conclusion, right? And this comes in the form of Inferno, number one. Okay, and I got Inferno number two, because <laughs> I just got a couple of pickups uh, built up. Look at this cover with um, Ember Frost. She's holding the helmet of Professor X and Magneto. Pretty awesome. Next, we got... Um, Venom, number one. I read this book already on Comixology. It's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Um, Al Ewing, he's going to do a, pretty much like a slow burn. He did the Immortal Hulk series, and I am stoked. Overall, the next book that I got is the Dark Hole Blade. The Dark Hole series has been pretty good, and the one that really immersed me, got me into it, was definitely... Dark Hole Iron Man. Now these are what if stories. Basically, Cthone is on his way back, and some of the heroes, right? There's like Black Bolt, Blade, um, Wasp, Iron Man, a couple other characters, Spider Man, who basically have to read the Dark Hole. And once they read the Dark Hole, they kind of get a, a what if variation of their own stories. What could have happened, right? This one is so dark, the Iron Man one, because um, basically. He gets immersed into the suit, and what's happening is literally what you see on the cover, right? It kind of reminds me of Akira in some type of way. I would love to do a review on this book, but it is creepy and it is dark. Um, the next book that I got on my list is, um, and the last book that's here, right? It's not that many, but this is a quick Zen Talks, is uh, this is DC versus Vampires. I didn't read this one right yet, but look at this cover. Batman as a vampire seems like it makes a lot of sense, right? For a lot of different reasons, but he looks good. But yeah, so we have DC vs. Vampires. Haven't read that yet. Um, Inferno number two, I have read. Pretty good. Um, same thing with number one, of course, because it is giving us more information um, on the whole mythos, right? But basically, in number two, um, we have Emma Frost, who who does find Warrior McTaggart, um, Magneto, and also uh, Professor X, and they tell her pretty much everything that they learned, right? All of the past lives, everything that she's been through in order to um, somehow spread this knowledge and, I guess, for lack of better words, make her um, into an ally, right? But she's kind of pissed, right? And then we have Venom. I read Venom is pretty good. There seems to be a new evil that's coming on. And um, Dylan, the son of, of Eddie Brock, now has the Venom symbiote. But something is happening with Eddie Brock, right? And I don't want to spoil it too much, but you know I always give spoilers. He dies. He dies at the end of the book, but he's reborn in some type of ways. Um, because we know from the events from Null, he was new the king in black right and he was basically spreading his consciousness throughout uh, the galaxy and sending agents venom agents right all over um but again there seems to be a big bad because at the end we see eddie brock and his consciousness i guess inhabits a symbiote and he because he he dies apparently and he meets someone right so more to that coming up right some people didn't enjoy it i enjoyed it and i know that it's going to be a slow burn 
Then the last two books again were The Dark Hold. I have one and two. And I just read the last one, right? And it's coming in, but it hasn't come in yet. But anyway, everyone, um, that's about it. Not too much more to say. Let me know what you think about any of those books. And let me know if you want me to review any of these books. But with that being said, this is Zen from Zen Multiverse. Saying peace, love, and prosperity. If you're enjoying the content, drop me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you all later for the next one. And if I don't see you, then I'm sending this Iron Man after you. Peace.